so today's Gotcha Life mini movie is called He's My Jerk and I'm His Nerd. This story is by Candius, so I will have the original in the description down below. I'm here with Nate today voicing the males. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey everybody, I'm back. <laughs> so of course I will have his social media in the description. Definitely make sure to check him out. Also let us know if you'd like to see us do part two. Now, if someone offers you candy, you say no thanks. Good, now go play. <laughs> Now, if someone offers... If someone offers me candy, I kick them! <laughs> she just can't kick a person? What? Uh, she's my sister. Hey, are you that girl I saw in the window yesterday? Yeah, you called me a nerd. What's a 22-year-old man doing calling a high schooler across the street a nerd through the window, huh? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm a senior. I'm just... Huh? That doesn't answer the question at all. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just too tall for you. You look like you're 12 down there. Uh, I'm 15. Huh? <laughs> I kicked someone. Ugh. Well, yeah, I'm leaving. Maddie, come on. How come we're leaving early? Because of that tall jerk. Is that your new girlfriend? Uh -huh. Your dad and I are staying at a hotel overnight. So just take care of Maddie? No way. I'm going to a sleepover. Also, I talked to the neighbors, Alyssa, and apparently you were being rude to their son. Okay, he called me a nerd through the window. Also, I can't trust you to be home alone anymore. What do you mean? I'm a good kid. You just played Just Dance till 3 a.m. last time. <laughs> Actually, it was 2 a.m. <laughs> Which is why I have a babysitter for you. I'm just babysitting me. Wait, she's 15 years old. <laughs> why, why does she need a babysitter? I know. His name is Alexander. He's a senior. Huh? Wait, wait. The same world person do that she this heard. Is okay? Like, oh, I heard that you were being rude to this person, so now he's gonna babysit you. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha logic. I trust him to take good care of you. Come on, you're kidding, right? Not at all, Alyssa. Buddy, grab your things for your sleepover. Huh? Mom. You're watching the neighbor's daughter. Go, Alexander. Well, if that's the case, then do I need my phone? Yeah, exactly. I don't even get my phone. Nope, not even for emergencies. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey. Uh, hey, give me back my phone, you jerk. <laughs> Who's Charlie, Alyssa? Uh, she's a girl, not a boy. Give it back. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> Who's Ray on your contacts? Shut up and give me my phone, jerk. Are you sure you can handle it? This movie's really sad. I'm positive I can handle it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, huh? uh, uh, Alyssa, what are you doing awake? Me? Where are you still here? It's 1 a.m. I can't go home. It's pouring rain out there. Whatever. Just grab the money from the counter and leave. This was for money? Wait, this was for money? Did you see the hot new senior? I've seen him all weekend. He's my new neighbor. Why didn't you tell me? Your best friends, after all. Oh, he took my phone. Speaking of which, I gotta get it back. He never gave her phone back? <gasps> Wait, so she paid him and he stole her phone? Yeah. <laughs> I would be what? like, hey, listen, give me my phone back and then I'll pay you. Yeah, right. Oh my goodness. The gotcha logic. Hey, give me my phone back, jerk. Huh? It's in my locker. Well, go get it. I need to check my notifications. Oh, I answered them all for you. What? Stupid tall jerk. Also, someone in your contacts really likes you. Oh. You'll see. Come on. How rude is that? <laughs> Going through someone's phones, answering all their notifications, yeah, and then and just like their privacy. A, a total breach of privacy. Why can't you tell me now? <gasps> Why did you say maybe when he asked me out? <laughs> because I don't know if you like him or not. Is her phone not locked? Exactly. Yeah. Does she not have a passcode or anything? Why did you even have my phone? <laughs> uh, Alyssa, you never really responded to my last text. What? She would love to go out with you, Ray. <laughs> She's been crushing on you ever since you met. Uh, Alyssa, is this true? Ah, no! I mean, yes, baby! <laughs> well, I guess we're going out then. Yeah, it's just that easy. <laughs> uh, see you around, Alyssa. Uh, did I ever mention you're a jerk? Uh, only a couple times. Bye. I gotta get to class. Lunch time? Yes, so I got a 98% on my math test. Did you hear that? Hear what? I heard nothing. So anyways, I got a 96% on my... I'm sorry, Charlie. We'll finish this combo later. Alyssa, there could be people fighting over there or... Uh... Come on, Alyssa. Alyssa, what the heck were you thinking? Me? What were you thinking? You could have been hurt. All I'm saying is I could have handled things myself. You're acting like you care about me. 
because I do. Huh? Uh, Why do you care about me? Uh, Alyssa, listen. You're a sweet and generous girl. Don't you realize that? Um, but you're still not telling me if you care about me or not. Didn't he just say that? Yeah, I think he just, yeah, he literally <laughs> just said he did. Maybe if you didn't give attitude, I would tell you. Even though I literally just did. Just tell <laughs> then stop giving me attitude. Uh, you know what? You're a jerk that deserves no one. Uh, Why are you guys skipping class? Uh, what do you mean? It's lunch. Ten minutes ago it was. After school detention for skipping. They give detention like so freely for every little I thing. Know. I know, they're handing those out like hotcakes, I guess. I blame you for this. If you haven't talked to Ivory this morning, this would have never happened. Oh, so blame me for everything, huh? Are you going to blame me for things I did? Didn't do. Yeah, I'll blame you for everything now. Watch the language and why do I hear talking? It's because you got ears. <laughs> wow. Did come back? Okay. <laughs> That's an extra 15 minutes. I hate you so much, Alexander. I'm supposed to give you a ride. Come on. I'd rather wait for my mom to get done with work. Uh, oh, put uh, me down! Uh, what was okay. that? Alyssa, why did you get detention? This isn't good for a future doctor. Detention isn't a big deal, Mom. It honestly isn't. Are you talking? Looking back, this isn't how I raised you. Have you ever been in detention? I haven't had detention, no. Yeah, I've never been in detention, but I think people just like go to sleep. Yeah, I would. Mom, just forget it. It was detention. And a detention equals grounded. <gasps> go to your room. Have you ever been grounded? I've been, I guess, quote unquote, grounded. I didn't have my first phone until I was in high school. We weren't allowed to have like any sort of gaming consoles or anything until I was like 12. Oh, so wow. growing up, my parents <laughs> that ground me were like, don't make me take away your books. And I'm like, oh no, <laughs> okay. not my books. <laughs> I've never been so. grounded either. But then again, my parents had like the belt. <laughs> what? Sorry. Hmm, no, you're not. Yes, I am. Prove this. I will. What? Someone shot an arrow through your window. Are you hurt? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What? That's how he proves he's sorry. He's like, hey, I, I'm here. I'm sorry. I I'm just going to destroy your window. <laughs> yeah. I definitely like am sorry. No, I'm not hurting. I don't know who shot the arrow. It's fine, but we have to repair your window now. I guess you're ungrounded. Well, uh, that, that's that one way to get ungrounded. <laughs> that, that makes no sense at all. Like, well, your window's broken, so I guess you can't be grounded anymore. Oh, well. Thank you. For destroying my window. No, don't thank him for that. He broke your window. He literally shot an arrow at you. What is going on? Any of you ungrounded is easy. Yeah, right. There's another girl flirting with you? No way. I'm a student tutor, not someone who flirts. My name is Wendy. You must explain why you have a black skirt, Wendy. Yeah, student tutors must wear full black. Are you Alexander's girlfriend? Even though she's a freshman and you're a senior, it's still cute, but kind of weird. Uh, me and Alyssa would never date. <laughs> That's such a shame. I imagine you guys on the last day of school being together. And then for the next three years, you won't. Yeah, that is... Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, maybe it's different at other people's high schools, but at my high school, if a senior was dating a freshman, that was pretty yeah, weird. Yeah, because like, once, like, at a certain point, after you become a senior, then you're like 18. That's really weird. Right, exactly. You're still dating someone in yeah, high school, which is like, you know... That's, <laughs> not, that's not legal. <laughs> Isn't the last day of school two months from now? Yep. Oh, I should throw a party. My mom is going to be out of the house then. <gasps> so she's going to throw a party at her house? No. She just got ungrounded. Girl, what are you doing? <laughs> I just got ungrounded. Let me throw a party against my yeah. parents' wishes. Oh, by the way, everyone who's at the party, don't mind the window. It's oh, the window shattered. is also broken. Don't mind the broken glass everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we were discussing lunch. We're going to cafe. Want to come? Wait, is this high school? They can just go out? of school for lunch? I, I never had that. Had you? Yeah, no, we could do that. We were allowed as if you had a driver's license or like if what? someplace was close, you were perfectly allowed to leave campus. Are you, you just serious? Had like, you had, yeah, you could just like at the beginning of school year, you had to sign like a waiver and have your parents also sign it and then you were given permission to go really? off campus. If you were 18, you could just privilege. sign the form yourself. Lucky, we were stuck in school all day. Can I invite a friend if he wants? Hmm. What's Charlie doing with Ivory? Are they talking about me? She actually thinks I'm her best friend. <laughs> but she's such a loser. No 
no wonder why no one likes her. So she was in disguise like she was a so-called nerd, but then she she transformed uh, into a meat why? girl. I don't why get would you it. be that evil? That's <laughs> that's so much effort for nothing. Yeah, what? right. She needs to get a life. And also projecting that obviously you're the one that needs to get a life doing all of this for no reason. <laughs> exactly. You're the person spending quite literally all of your free time to pretend to be a person's friend and then talk about them behind their back. Like, what's yeah, the point of that? Yeah, or you could just be genuine and actually be their friend. It's really quite easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially when she's taking the new senior away from us. We need to make him hate her. Oh, you brought Ray with Alyssa. I'm surprised you didn't bring Shirley. Earth to Alyssa. Something wrong. Uh oh, don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alyssa, I know that's a fake smile. Charlie's no longer my friend. I never want to speak to her again. Uh, are you sure? Everyone sees you two as best friends. She's definitely sure if she's talking in that tone. So, what happened between you and Charlie? They normally wait for Charlie for where we eat lunch, but she wasn't there. I went to go look for her, and then I saw her speaking with Ivory. For a girl like her, I never expected her to talk to Ivory. We were talking about things, and then I was brought up in the conversation. And Charlie actually started talking trash about me, which meant that she was a BFF. Best fake friend. Well, that sounds like something Charlie would never do. I'm sorry, Alyssa. Whatever. You're nothing but gossipers and meanies. Charlie's a fake friend that is a dumb person. Ivory, she has an attitude problem. I hate Ivory and Charlie. Whoa, that's pretty extreme. <laughs> and she has been recording the entire thing nobody noticed. A few weeks have passed. So, how is Ray, Alyssa? I don't think I want to date him. He's been acting weird lately towards me. But it's high school. Relationships don't last long. Huh, Shane, I wanted you two to go to prom together. I don't think I'm going to prom on my freshman year, Alexander. Wait, you can go to prom on your freshman year? I thought it was only junior and senior. Yeah, it was works differently at every school. At our school, how prom worked was if an upperclassman invites an underclassman, then you can go. Oh, or if you're an oh, underclassman yeah, working at prom. Oh, yeah, you're a senior, right. So, do you like anyone? Uh, if I did, I wouldn't tell you, shorty. Uh, okay, you're just tall. You're like six feet or something. Sure I am, nerd. Wait, she just complimented you. <laughs> Why would you respond like that? I'm not a nerd. Nerd. Later, nerd. Jerk. interested in him. Uh, why do I even care? Alyssa, please pay attention. Did you go with anyone to prom? Uh, I never actually went to prom. You didn't? No, I thought prom was like really overrated. Yeah. Especially like at my high school. Yeah, like, I agree. So I didn't go to my junior one, but then I was like, you know, this is a once in a lifetime experience. So I went to the senior one and I hated it. <laughs> and also I never like dated anyone either. So sorry, I got distracted. So you probably heard about prom. Do you plan to go with someone? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't got anyone at the moment. You have Alyssa. Mm. Uh, she's probably going with Ray, Wendy. I think they would be cute together. I didn't tell you the whole story then. Oh, uh, what do you mean? I mean, like their dates didn't go as expected, but still, eh, it's Ray's loss. Yeah, but him talking to Ivory on their date was bad. Ray doesn't deserve Alyssa then. Yeah, I guess. What? <laughs> Wait, Ivory, now you will lead Alexander in here to comfort you. Then Alexander will ask me to prom. I did the fake crying. I should go to prom with him. He's going with me. Confirmed. I came up with the plan, Ivory. So, he's mine. You already have your boyfriend, Gabe. Wait, what? So she's already dating someone and she wants to date someone else? That's yeah, so weird. That, uh, <laughs> that is very weird. None of you deserve him. You're risking cheating on your own boyfriend, Ivory. Yeah, you tell him, Alyssa. And Charlie, you're a fake friend. Alexander doesn't like either of you two. Watch your mouth, freshman. Let me go. I need to get to class. Have fun in the locker, loser. You're not actually leaving me in here, are you? Someone help, please. Anyone there? Please. Someone. Where's Alyssa? Is she was supposed to study with us? Oh, uh, she probably left school early for an appointment or something. Or she's just showing up late. If she had an appointment, she would tell us. Huh, you know you're right, Wendy. Did something happen to her? Huh, I'm not quite sure. Then she's gone missing. Something probably happened to her. You look for her that way. We have ten minutes. Where are they being timed? I guess that's how much time they have to study? <laughs> I have no idea. Let's hope nothing bad happened to her. Help! Is that someone screaming for help? From the girls' locker room. Help me! Oh shoot, that's definitely Alyssa. Help! Whoa, help! <laughs> why were you in a locker? 
because there's no cameras in here. Well, uh, you gotta get to class, Alyssa. You're back from school, Alyssa. I am. Why are you dressed all fancy? You going on a date with Dad again? You better not have a babysitter. Hey, don't be silly. You're coming to dinner with us. Oh, cool. We're having dinner with the neighbors. Oh, so I can meet his two younger sisters? Have you been talking to him lately? Yeah, oh, why wouldn't I? If you've been talking to him, you must hang out with him then. I think somebody has a crush. I cut it out. My daughter has a crush. La, 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 la. By the way, dress fancy, especially for Alexander. What? Hey, our daughter has a crush. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Uh, too red. Throw that over there. Uh, too black. Throw that one. Second grade dance. Uh, throw that one. Uh, Mom says I can wear your second grade dress. Sure, it's in that pile. Uh, Alyssa, come here! Ta da! <laughs> Relax, I'm kidding. So glad you guys could make it. But where's your older daughter? Alexander only came to see her. Mom, stop lying. Are you Alyssa's boyfriend? Anyways, let me show you guys our table. Alexander, stay here for Alyssa, aka your future girlfriend. Why are oh the parents, gosh. like, so forward? I know. If, if my parents were that forward, I would, I would probably just not talk to that person ever again. I'd be yeah, like, yeah, sorry. So uh, I can't do this. She's not my girlfriend. Uh, the heels are too hard to walk in. You still look lovely as always, though. I think that's the first time he's complimented her. He's always called yeah, her I honestly nerd, think right? so. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I see breadsticks. Uh, uh, can you not bump into me? I told you these heels are killing me. I'm just, uh, I'm eating all the so, how was the food, everyone? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess they really like their food. <laughs> Mom, you shouldn't have let the eight-year-olds have ice cream. Uh, they love it. Alexander, how's your girlfriend? Oh my gosh, not the cats, too. Come on, guys. Uh, she isn't my girlfriend? Shut up, you liar. I saw you two almost kiss earlier. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. What do you mean? Oh I'm going to be gosh. a grandma? I would stand up and leave. I'm gone. I am in the car and I am not get ever going anywhere else ever again with my parents. What? They literally are not dating. They didn't even kiss. She's talking about she's going to be a grandma. What? Stop. What? All of us will be How grandpa. Are what is this? the family so... What are these parents? Admit you like her, Alexander. They're like pressuring them too. Like I this is know. so weird. Oh, here we go. Finally, oh, she leaves. Okay. Yep, she stands up and walks on the table away. Uh, listen, sorry about my family. I am too. <laughs> I'm not even involved in this situation, but I'm sorry. Uh, I have a question. What is it? Uh, do you hate me? Oh, I don't. What? After all that pressure, I guess. Yeah, after all that awkwardness and pressure. Oh, no. Uh, don't tell me those are the Bravo. parents. Oh, my gosh. No, oh, leave. Get out of there, Alyssa. Just run. Run for the hills. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Why are you so nonchalant about this? Yeah, right? Has it been, like, not one minute? I know. They're totally invading your guys' privacy. And they even brought the kids. Like, why do they need to be here? Why? Can they not see my brother? They have a whole audience. You two only need to tell me if you're getting together and going to prom together. Uh, we're not dating, Whoa. Hannah. For the millionth time. Yet. Yet. So, what's the real reason why you're here? You're just talking about adult stuff they don't want us knowing about. Well, can you go back inside? We need a privacy. I don't know about this. <laughs> the stars are sure beautiful tonight. Just like you, my short nerd. Do I ask her to prom? You might reject me. Oh, no, dude. You're holding hands and you just got done kissing. I'm like, what? Yeah. Uh, uh, whatever. Just do it. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Oh, okay. With the whole okay. <laughs> He's proposing. That was quick. Alyssa, will you go to prom with me? <gasps> yes, I will, Turk. You two are being suspicious. First kiss. Aw, oh, you two official now? No, not oh yet. My gosh. What do you mean, not yet? First of all, they literally kept, like, insulting each other this whole time. And then, like, in the snap of a finger, the parents just, like, pressure them, and now they're suddenly dating. Exactly, yeah. No, no, no. They're not dating yet. Oh, of course yeah, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, because yeah, of this course, totally yeah. makes sense. He just asked her out with the bouquet of flowers proposing. No big deal. <laughs> yeah. Not yet. Did you do that to me, Alexander? I had to. Oh, she was joking. <laughs> so, I found someone to go to prom with me. Uh, Alyssa, I'm sorry for the way I acted on our dates. Uh, I was blackmailed by Ivory so she could get a chance with Alexander. Huh? <gasps> what? Can you forgive me? I hope we could still be friends. It's okay, right? I'm glad you told me. 
<laughs> well, thanks. Uh, we could still be friends, right? Of course. Why wouldn't we be? Like, you lied to me and just totally disrespected me and all that. I mean, it's, uh, someone is jealous. <laughs> Don't worry, nerd. I'm not jealous. Are you sure about that, jerk? <laughs> yeah, totally not jealous. <laughs> okay, I am. Alyssa and Alexander sitting in a tree. Oh, the Wendy and Ray sitting in a tree, huh? Um, ew, he's a junior and I'm a senior. But you're so for these, this, this, this freshman and senior yeah, dating? Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> the gotcha kind of, logic. Yeah. Hi, Brandon. Just give me my phone back. Alexander, are you going to college? Yeah, I'm going to study nursing. Why do you ask? Oh. We're not allowed in a relationship if you're in college. Oh, well, let me say that. thought about that. He's going to leave literally in two months, and you won't be able to see him for the next three years until you graduate. Should have thought of that. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Also, he's going to be a legal adult, so there's legalities to that as well. I haven't really thought about that. Will you wait for me? I don't know. He might meet nice people his age in college. I'm just saying. Yeah, exactly. Of course I will, nerd. What college are you leaving going to? Gotcha University. <laughs> The only university in Gotcha Life to remember each other by when you leave. Where is Gotcha University, anyways? That's the funny thing. No one really knows. <laughs> It's in Luna May City, nerd. Luna May City? Yeah, it's a large city that's roughly two hours away from here. Well, you'll be two hours away from me? That's not all bad. All things considered, that's not that bad at all, yeah. Yeah, I'm staying with my aunt and uncle. It's okay, I'll visit every weekend. No, you need to focus on your studies. My baby is going to prom! Please stop. Oh my <laughs> god, she's I'm in going high to school. be a grandma! She's what? in high school, mom. She's literally I a freshman. I can't wait to have grandbabies, of course. Gotcha logic. Mom, we're going to prom in high school. My son is going to prom with his future wife. They literally just started dating. <laughs> what? Are you guys even a thing yet? <laughs> they don't even know if they're a thing yet. And she's talking about grandbabies. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, parents, just take a chill pill. This is a, super excessive. <laughs> Alyssa, what's wrong? You're at prom. Be happy. I can't. Alexander hasn't been talking to me all night. I don't understand. He loves you. I thought he did. I guess I was wrong. I just hope he's not angry at me. Alyssa, wait! What? Can you sing this piece for me? No, I don't sing. Sing it with me, or I'll kiss you. Alright, fine, Alexander. Uh, do you know Rewrite the Stars? Definitely. It's my favorite song. Let's rewrite the stars. Let's rewrite the stars. See? You're a beautiful singer. I haven't sang in a while. Alyssa, prom is almost over. In a couple weeks, I graduate, and then I have the summer. Do you think we could share a kiss? What's that? Alexander graduated high school. So did Wendy. Wait, like three years later, right? Yeah, unless she's like <laughs> extremely smart and graduates her freshman year. Yeah, she just totally skipped all of high school. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it to his graduation, but the pictures with his sisters are adorable. Wendy had a picture with her three-year-old brother. Oh, there they are. Oh! So I guess she got a new brother? I'm confused. Wendy, Alexander, Ray, and I would hang out all the time in the summer. But like all summers, it comes to an end. I wasn't ready to let Alexander go. He's my jerk and I'm his nerd. Alexander, wait! Ew, I'm sorry I didn't say goodbye to you this morning. My alarm clock didn't go off in time. Goodbye, my nerd. Just like yeah, he just leaves. All right, yeah, goes off end. into Happily the wind. Ever after, I guess. Well, that was He's My Jerk, and I'm his nerd. A Gotcha Life mini movie by Candy Ist. I will have the original in the description down below. Once again, let us know if you'd like us to do part two as well. But I was here with Nate voicing the males today. Thank you so much for joining me. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Oh my goodness. So I will have his social media links in the description down below. Make sure to check him out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe to Come Mermaid or Merman. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.